welcome to the world of ink i'm your host diana gonzalez and i've changed and geared up for the tattoo i'm about to do for tattoo version catherine chairs who's also a documentarian and right now i've sterilized my station with clorox and bleach before we got started i placed ink cups the amount that i need um a and d on the table green soap which is antibacterial soap that's best used for um, the tattoo process. And I've gotten my stencil ready, which is of a yin yang symbol that Catherine will be getting on her lower calf. And I've also placed a dime size amount of A&D on the table. I've got my liner and shader gun ready I've tuned it to the best sound that I can get. Um, I've got gloves. I've got new equipment. Everything is sterilized and brand new. Um, I'm wiping down the area that I'm going to tap with green soap. If the area is hairy, then you must shave it. If not, then it's fine. But the hair can get in the way of the tattoo process and um, mess with the needle while it's doing the tattoo. And here I have something called stencil stuff, which puts the stencil of the tattoo on the, to the skin. Once you're done with that, you let it dry for about 10 seconds, and then you're ready to start. I will be using Eternal Black Ink. It is good to always have your machine covered so that no cross contamination happens. Are you ready? Um, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. All right, let me. And I can't move at all, right? Nope.
what made you get this tattoo? Uh, I'm starting to rethink it now. <sighs> um, I don't know, the yin and yang symbol is something that resonates with me. Um, for me, it's the symbol of like masculine and feminine sort of coming together. It's a very strong sort of universal principle. And um, sort of what I feel is like the heartbeat of the universe. So I wanted to, um, and I've kind of always wanted to experience getting a tattoo. So um, yes, yeah, so, oh. How does that fit? Um, I'm okay. <laughs>